Tylus, you should be in sickbay. I'll finish this. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? You look exhausted. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty rough. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal, that the Elidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then... Is that true? I wish I could tell you otherwise. But it's not real. Galvin orchestrated the whole thing. I don't understand. Then what happened? I really thought there was a deal. Galvin bioformed the Elidians into Takan. What? But... But what about the Queen? Or the Hotari people? Please tell me they're okay. That there's something the Federation can do. The Queen was not herself. She deferred to Galvin at every turn. She'd never do that. Never. But I can't say for sure she's been bioformed. Or anyone beyond that chamber. Where will I go? I can't go back. I don't have a home anymore. Everything I've ever known is gone. You're always safe aboard this ship. And you're welcome to stay as long as you need. Thank you. The Federation stands with the Hotari. You don't have to doubt it for a second. Yellow, alert. Commander Rydek, we need you on the bridge immediately. Commander. Good to have you back. You didn't opt for the ocular implants. Maybe someday. The visor was the best the doc could do on short notice. We've got an Olydian ship, the Veskar, rapidly bearing down on our position. Or what was the Veskar. Now I'm not so sure. Bring it up on the view screen. 600 kilometers in closing. Still coming straight for us. Hmm. Hmm. Commander? Should we put our shields up? Just as a precautionary measure. I'd like to avoid escalating this any more than we have to. Whatever the hell this is. 400 kilometers in closing. Shields up. Ready, phasers. Shields up. Phasers ready. It's incoming. Lock phasers and open fire. Heavy damage. But deflectors still at full power? That bypassed our shields entirely. That's impossible. God damn it, return fire! Everything we've got! Rydek, modulate the shield frequencies. See if you can get us any cover. Commander, I've got I got this. Just keep firing. Shields still have no effect. That doesn't make sense. I'll try another. There! We've got incoming! How do they keep matching our shield frequency? They couldn't. Unless... They've compromised our shield algorithms. They can bypass our shields at will. What? Ah. Ah. Captain! Uh, he's out cold! Why'd they stop? Damage report. Running on emergency power. Major hull damage on decks four through seven. Warp core is stable and intact. We're completely vulnerable. Commander, we're being held by the Veskar. It's Galvin. On screen. Commander Rydak, where's your captain? 
Not dead, I hope. At least, not yet. Sorry to disappoint you, but he's alive and well. Good. I wouldn't want him to miss out on any of this. I have to give you credit, Commander. You survived longer than I thought you would. But make no mistake, your shields are useless, your weapons ineffective, and there's nothing you can do. I could destroy you at any moment, but I'd rather hear your pleas for mercy first. Your existence is entirely in my hands, and I'm not in a forgiving mood. If you want to destroy us, then I invite you to do your worst. We'd rather die with honor than beg for your mercy. You may just get your wish. I've been thinking about what you said, Commander. You claimed I would be held accountable. And here I am. Hold me accountable. The Veskar's weapons are powering up. you'll be the one begging us for mercy. <laughs> I doubt that. I've lost their signal. Can you track their warp signature? Nothing. It's untraceable, just like before. Notify Ambassador Spock. I want everyone in the briefing room to discuss our options. What's the status of the repairs? Hull breach should be patched up in a matter of hours. Impulse power is at 67%. Should be fully restored soon. Still no luck tracking Galvin's warp signature. They've all but disappeared. Keep trying. Finding that son of a bitch is the best shot we've got. Commander Rydick, you had the con after the ship was attacked. What is your assessment? Given our current situation, and the losses we have suffered... It would appear we are severely outmatched. In that case, we might have an option. Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire. If anyone could find Galvin, it would be him. That's assuming he's willing to help us. True, but there's only one way to find out. Wouldn't we need to secure authorization from the Federation Council to contact him? The nearest Federation outpost is Andoria. I can travel there by shuttle and inform them personally of the threat from the Takan. Meanwhile, the Resolute can travel to the Delphi Ardu system in search of Portal 63. Mm, I still have my doubts. I do not. Captain William T. Riker has first hand experience with the area and with Portal 63. His guidance will prove invaluable, and should alleviate your concerns. Delphi Ardu-4 is a restricted zone for good reason. For all we know, we could be walking into a trap. Not to mention the high likelihood Portal 6-3's allegiance will be with the Takan. It's just too much of a risk. A waste of time. Time we can't afford to lose. According to Commander Riker's records of meeting Portal 6-3, he was willing to listen to reason. We may be able to convince him that Galvin is wrong. Or he'll just be happy to learn his civilization is making a comeback. In which case, we only compound the problem. I am inclined to agree with Commander Rydek. Her logic is sound. This portal may have knowledge that proves to be invaluable, including information on the nature of the Cartabula. We must act on the facts at hand. Then we'll give it our best. I'll arrange a meeting with Captain Riker. And I will speak with the Council. They need to understand the magnitude of the situation. 
I can leave for Andoria immediately. I wish you luck finding Portal 6-3. The very future of the Federation may rest in your hands.